Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. And good night. It's Alex again. Today is June 13th, 2018. Boy, do I got a surprise for you guys. NASA announces a new sub-Saturn planet that has a 19.5 days year in the orbit. Now let's go read about this. If any of you guys believe in Gilbert Sar or follow Gilbert Sar who know Gilbert Sar, Gilbert Sar always said that there we were going to get an announcement of a planet or maybe a comet like planet that's six times the mass of the Earth or seven times, right? Okay. Now let's go here, guys, so I can show you guys something. Let me read you guys the article and I'm going to leave the description in the box and you guys can go ahead and uh, take uh, read it. Okay? Here we go. A team of scientists announced the discovery of a new planet. The new, newly identified body was found too close to its sun-like star, making its orbit faster and days of a year le far less than Earth. Erek Socha Pexabe. A team of scientists have discovered a new planet that revolves, a, 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 revolves around a whole star estimated to be about, I don't believe this at all, but 600 light years away from Earth. Okay. With a new planet's calculated orbit around its sun-like sun -like star, it is estimated that a year on this planet ends in about 19.5 days. That means that the planet is too, is too close to its whole star compared to Earth's distance to the star. Okay, now this is where it gets to Gilbert Sars theory, guys. Here we go. Okay. The scientists from the F Physical Research Laboratory in Hermeradar, Indi India, described the new planet as a sub-Saturn or super Neptune-sized exoplanet. It weighs about 27 times the mass of Earth and measures 6 times the radius of Earth. There's our planet X. There's our planet 7 if you guys believe in Sam and, and Gilbert Sars theory. The planet name is the new planet name is Epic two one one nine four five two zero one B or K two dash two three six B after its host star. I'll leave the description and all. I also have um a subscriber of mine, Joe. Got to give you a shout out. I did a separate video. I'm gonna splice it and put it in here together. So you guys can see this. I was just going to make an announcement of this, but you guys are going to see the other photograph. All I got to say is, I believe we're watching, I believe we're seeing spiritual beings, uh, spiritual beings, guys. Just pay attention to my uh, next video. Love you guys. Uh, so I can't even sleep right now, guys. <laughs> uh, I just want to give a shout out to Joe. I'm going to share with you guys the photographs that I received from, from a man, Joe. That's all, I'm, that's all he wants to be known by. Maybe it's not his name, but that's what it has on his email. What Joe's telling me is that he says he's been capturing what we consider spiritual beings. If any of you guys know what spiritual beings are, they are living organisms that live inside us, uh, are trapped inside a spherical, a spherical circle. You guys go look them up. If you guys uh, follow, any of you guys follow uh, Star, I'm mean, not Star, uh, um, Miss China Jones, she talks about spiritual beings. You know, me and her at one time we were supposed to talk about this, and we talk and. Um, Basically, is uh, living org organisms that live inside a spear. They come and visit us. They come. They come around us. So, is it possible that we are seeing actually orbs that look like lenses? Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so we could go ahead. Look at this orb right here. Okay, this is taken here in Washington, or I know United States. That's where he's at. Okay. Now I'm gonna bypass one photograph because I'm gonna collaborate with what he's found with me because once he saw my video right away he said he has a couple things to back me up on what uh, what I found so let me pass this photograph real quick this is what he caught right here you know what I mean when he went out camping and all he said he's been seeing nothing but orbs he said he's been seeing orbs after the Mayan 2000 uh, in December 2012 supposed calendar date started ending he said that's when all these orbs started showing up more and more and more he said he started seeing these he said he started seeing these every single day so let's keep going on says he sees stuff like this in the sky that that says stuff like this 
doesn't this kind of look like what we see in the FFA webcam? I'm not saying I'm look, I'm not trying to say anything, but doesn't it kind of look like what we see in the FFA webcam? Look at that, craters and all. Same thing, almost like a lens. Okay, but look at that. It says he sees these every single day. Then this is what he said he caught. He said he caught something that was black right there. Don't know. It could be a helicopter for him. We know, but it could be something. But this is exactly what he says it looks like when he blew it up. Then you guys remember this right here, this photograph right here, the one I bypassed, the one that shows this object right here, these objects, like like one, two, three, four, five, six, a little, uh, yeah, you can count them, like one, two, three, four, five, six, um, little, what we call pearls, pearls, check this out, look what he has right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's what's that's right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Isn't that weird? He caught that today, and that's exactly the same day that I got these the, uh, these objects on the webcam. This is what I call mirror. This is what I call you know uh, collaboration, and this is what you know good teamwork, great teamwork. Thanks, Joe. And then he says he caught an orb right here too. What we what he's seen is an orb again. You can see that little white object, that little orb. That's what that's what he says is right there. It's an orb. So maybe we are seeing spirit, spiritual beings, and they're not lenses. Because I had a subscriber of mine told me that you know that that it could probably be spacecrafts, but you know he has a hard trouble you know digesting the fact that we have floating a uh, uh, lens arrays. Well, I I tell everybody, I, not everybody, but I tell the people who I mean to talk about. If you could believe that there's a, a spaceships, aliens out there, why can't you believe that they have a, a, um, lens arrays up there? You know, look at the way these satellites. How are these satellites are floating up around us? All oh, because they have uh, some type of uh, 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 some type of uh, uh, device helping them, right? Just exactly like this. I, like I told them, what if they reverse engineered all this stuff and they're using that up there? Not only that, they could be using anti gravity for them to uh, for them to be floating up there. Like I said, they, have, they could be using anything up there, all kinds of things to be up there to put up there. But I just want to go tell you, thanks, Joe. And then this is what he's been capturing. Take a look at this right here. Now, doesn't that look like the lens? Like a lens, too? I believe these to be actually uh, orbs that we're seeing around this, the sun, too. Not actually uh, uh, planets, too, or, or, or um, lenses. Orbs. Orbs, ladies and gentlemen. Orbs. I'm even shocked about this because, you know, I've been trying to say this lens, and then when I get this right here, this opened up my eyes, guys. I'm telling you, that's why I'm shocked right now. My voice, you guys can tell. I'm shocked because this opened up my eyes, you know, when I was like, oh, I saw orbs different ways in different other ways, you know. When I saw orbs, I saw orbs the way they look differently, you know. But when I'm starting to see this the way they look, especially him catching it in daytime, you know, you see it in broad daylight. Like, I got another photograph that I'll show you. He caught two of them, watch. We're gonna go then he caught this right here this one right here too see this little one right here way in the background but he caught this one right here too now I kind of see why a lot of people feel uh, see why they kind of confuse why they think they might catch planets or not they're probably orbs living living beings spiritual being orbs I'm so I'm shocked <laughs> then he had this one right here too I don't know I kind of I'm kind of uh, speculating on this photograph but I'm not gonna judge him I'm not gonna give. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt until you know, like I said, or until someone out until his. Yeah, I'm just not gonna go there. Then you got these right here. What I'm gonna show you guys right now. Just take a look at these right now. This is exactly what he said, like the blue one that he said he caught. But take a look at this. I'm not saying they are or not, but take a look. If you take a look at this, don't they kind of resemble what we see in FFA webcams? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not saying they are lit. Just grab. You know, let's think outside the box and and and, and hold on to this grass with me for a while. What if they are spiritual beings that we're seeing and they're actually orbiting and they're not planets? They're actually spiritual beings coming in and the planets are way far out to be coming in. What if these are the ones that are going to be the ones we actually see orbiting first coming in? I don't know, you know. No one really knows, but look at this right here. Look at them. Don't they kind of resemble what we see in the FFA webcam? I'm just saying. This is amazing. Then you have this right here. Then you got this one right here. Then you got this one right here. Look at these right here. That's, this is amazing, Joe. Wow, Joe, man. I'm, I'm I'm impressed. Then you have that right there. Then that right there. And these are the two I was telling that he caught outside right there, right in front of his house. Look at Look at An orb. Look. 
an orb. So what if they are orbs that we're actually seeing right there by the sun too, not just actually have to be planets? In Revelations, it does state for us to pay attention to the signs in the heavens. It says to pay attention to the sun, the moon, the stars, and the heavens. These are coming from the heavens. These are probably looking what they, what we see sometimes looking at brighter stars when they come in. The Lord did say for us to pay attention in, in Revelation mainly more to the sky. Not to around what's around us, around, you know, the, around the ground and all, but to the sky. Wow, this is actually making me think differently now what I'm actually seeing in the sky now. I gotta say thank you, Joe. And I believe my subscriber is Xavier. Thank you, Xavier. He's the one that brought it to my attention, saying, you know, what if these are something else, you know, spacecrafts or something else. And now that I get this, and now that Joe told me what we're actually seeing, you know, what he considers spiritual beings, spherical beings, I mean, spherical bag. I'm sorry, guys, spherical beings. And that's exactly what what we're seeing right here. Look at that. Doesn't that kind of look like the lens? You know, this is orbs, guys. And we're back right here, guys. I don't know. One more list to tell you guys. But take care. Love each other. Love one another. I love you guys. Be kind. And be there for one another. Take care. God bless.